Okay. Okay, so uh, we got a couple of hours spare this morning. So we thought that we'd change the light on the spreader. So the spreaders are at the top of each mast. And uh, on them are lights that can light up the deck if we need to do something at night time. So on the mizzen, which is a smaller mast at the back, one of the lights has gone. So uh, we're going to have to go up the mast and uh, change that. So in order for it to be safe, um, Bruce is going to put me in the bosun's chair. And the bosun's chair is connected to a halyard. So he'll be taking up the slack as I go up the mast and keeping me safe in case I slip. I won't fall all the way to deck. Um, once up there, we have to change one of these lights. Yeah, this is a, an older style of light. Nowadays, they're all LED, which in Florida, we're going to switch them all to LED. This has a, a reflective bulb inside and actually has another little bulb that goes inside of that. So inside the bulb, as I was saying, you've got another little bulb, which on the light up in the mizzen is blown. At least we think. We might have to check the wiring, but it, this is what we're about to change. The big thing about using a posting chair is never rely on a shackle. of the halyard like this. Shackles are known to open up and people fall. Okay. This way the shackle is just a backup. Should be safe on here. So we rigged this uh, bucket up so if I forget any tools or need something that I didn't expect then uh, I don't have to go all the way back down. So here's yeah, it's rusty. Yeah, it's full of rust and shit. Uh, that doesn't look too healthy, eh? So I have to take this line off here, which releases the screw. It's holding the bolt in place. The problem is, I don't want to drop the screw. We have a backup, but I'll start dropping screws now. I'll probably drop the other one as well. Okay, so that's in there. Next is maybe this can disconnect. Whoa. First thing dropped. On top of the mizzen is the fixture, <laughs> on top of the sail, and next to your feet is the gasket thing. Gotcha. So I'll change that bit and I'll scrape the rust off from the edge here. Oh, cool. There's one in this one as well. Yep.
Okay, so here's my bucket with the other bowl. So let's take this out. Really good, really good. Okay, so I got to the top of the mast. Um, as you saw, we left the old one of these on because it was in workable order and all we needed to change was the outer part. Uh, we could have just changed the bowl, but as you can see, I think that this gasket, which is supposed to keep the water from outside of here, and keep it outside, uh, I think it failed. Currently we're at Gibson Bite Marina on the west end of Roatan. Right in here, what appears to be a mangrove that they've turned into a marina. And then we're gonna head out uh, and go along the north shore of Rotan to dive on a wreck here and some other sites that Adam has picked out. And more than likely, if the weather and conditions are good, We'll go across back to where we started in the Bay Islands, in Grenaja. Hopefully I pronounced it right. Uh, we'll dive on the, the pinnacle right here, which was a favorite of ours. And then probably come around to the town, maybe dive on that wreck that's here again. And load up with uh, some of the water they have here, which is excellent. We'll empty our water tanks and uh, fill up here with water and clear customs. Now we're going to clear customs for uh, up here north of uh, Cancun, Mexico. I believe it's Mejeres. Mejeres is the island. And then on our way there, we will stop at uh, maybe Cozumel and another island chain off of Mexico. And the world famous Blue Hole, which is right where this dive flag is which is a, a hole in the reef that goes down about, I think it's around 400 to 500 feet deep. And it's roughly 1,000 feet wide. There's the hole right there. You can see it marked. And uh, we'll be able to anchor there. Depending on what time of day we get there, we hope to visit this little island chain, which is Half Moon Bay, I believe it's called. Both these two areas are in Belize and they're uh, a national monument. So it's very uh, environmentally, environmentally sensitive. If the weather's not right, we can always anchor off of this island on the lee shore over here. All this depends on conditions of the wind and ourselves. Great. So we have a good uh, couple of weeks of sailing and diving ahead of us. Yeah, close to three weeks, we hope. And we hope to finish off the Bay Islands and then move across to Belize and up into Mexico. If there's enough time, uh, swing into Can uh, Cuba at Hemingway Marina which is just across from Key West. Our final destination before we cross the Atlantic will be Florida to probably work on the boat for two to three weeks, get it all brought back to good condition, change a few things, upgrade a few things, 
and then we'll head over to Bermuda, Azores, to Chipotle. Fantastic. Cool.